until the lion tells his story the hunter will always be the hero. African proverb. Until the lion tells his story, the hunter will always be the hero. Many of my clients who are high-performing leaders, one of the top things they ask me for is, Christy, how do I build my self-confidence? And I often tell them, on the rungs of radical resilience, at the top is self-efficacy. Self-efficacy is your ability to execute daily tasks, execute in the moment. Someone with high self-efficacy has learned how to see their challenges as something to be mastered, not a threat to be avoided. Because until the lion tells his story, the hunter will always be the hero. So if self-efficacy is the umbrella under which you have self-confidence, self-courage, self-control, and self-compassion, even when you don't feel self-confident, there is an alternative path to keep you moving forward. How do we move forward in the face of the thing that's hunting us down? The anxiety, the ambiguity that challenges you from continuing to climb up your ladder of leadership. We choose to be with it. That's your awareness. We choose to breathe through it. That's your acceptance. We choose in the moment to build in it, take action. And lastly, we choose to bounce back from it. Your affirmations anchor you, hence developing psychological flexibility. Because until the lion learns to tell his story, the hunter will always be the hero. What's hunting you down? It's disempowering thoughts. The thoughts that are telling you that you are not enough. Even if you have 30 years of experience succeeding in that specific area. So on today, I challenge you to turn around and raise your roar. And put to silence the whispers of low self-efficacy. The whispers of doubt. The whispers of insufficiency. Because you are more than enough in what you do.